Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Pam. I'm Adi. And I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are healthy and that you had a great week. Um, sorry that we haven't posted. <laughs> I think it's only been a week, but yeah. we did say we were going to post every week. Life has just gotten a bit busy. So I think from now on, we're just going to try post as often as we can. And if we miss a week, I mean, I guess it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. If you guys are watching one of our videos for the first time um, and if you're new to our videos and our channel don't be scared to join the family don't be scared to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up yeah that always helps um, and yeah we post videos as often as we can like <laughs> we started our channel with sit down videos and then we've been doing a lot of challenges and vlogs thought it was time for another Okay, so today we're going to be speaking about something that I think is close to both of our hearts and we, I think we've both experienced to a degree some of the things that we're going to be speaking about. So if you haven't read the title already, this is about like how social media can be toxic. Social media inherently is not toxic. We think it's a great tool that can be used for good. It's fun as well. I mean, it's... Yeah, it is fun. It's like something that you can use to share your life and to create awareness for certain things. Most people like the idea of it and just yeah. like being on social media. I mean, I literally love social media, but I, I've also recognized like toxic traits within. Yeah. Does that make sense? This video came up from having conversations with people recently just about how they haven't felt good enough. They haven't felt like they're at a place in their lives that they're supposed to be at. I think this is also something that hits home for me big time. And you know, you just see all these people where they're at with their lives and you're just like, I'm not there, I'm not good enough. So I can absolutely like resonate with the people that you spoke to as well. Yeah. Um, just with that. So yeah. So we hope you guys enjoy this video. So the first thing that we've sort of noticed that social media um, does is that it creates unrealistic expectations for people um, whether you're young middle-aged or old looking at other people's lives and seeing your own life realizing that you're not where they might be right now yeah. um, really can suck sometimes social media has set societal standards of what people should be like. For example, you see 18 year olds that are millionaires, billionaires, um, and then you're just literally studying. You just got into varsity. Why are you speaking to me right now? <laughs> <laughs> you're not 18, but anyway. <laughs> just wondering like, am I good enough? Why am I even studying? Why am I even trying? Um, social media just displays a front of people who are unrealistically happy all the time um, posting photos of themselves on holidays um, smiling all the time their great bodies their yeah. I don't know what else their dogs first, first of all I don't know where they get the money yeah. <laughs> even I'm guilty of posting pictures when I'm like not in the greatest of spaces that make me look happy and yeah. I, I think that's just inherently like what we do yeah and it's unrealistic it's not always real like sometimes I look at pictures and I'm like is it not okay for like let's say girls to have pimples anymore um right. is it not okay for guys to be a little bit overweight <laughs> um anymore is it not okay that i drive my 10 year old car <laughs> that my dad gave to me um like is that not okay anymore and i just feel like those expectations are leading people to just be depressed to not be satisfied with their lives and Absolutely. where they are in life um, it's made people forget the journey um, mm -hmm. and it's made people only think about the destination if that may make sense yeah. there's nothing wrong with wanting good things yeah. and to have money one day and to be able to provide and take care of your family one day you know like even the Bible says like there's a time for everything um, and it's just good to remember that everybody's life everybody's journeys are different um, and the only expectation that you should really be putting up for yourself is your own um, If that makes sense Like I think it all just boils down to like societal expectation um, And at the end of the day, it's like who are we trying to please? Yeah. That's like the biggest question of it all 
um, when we post pictures that are happy and we're not really happy, then what's the point? You know, like it's fine to do that, but looking internally and seeing like where you are internally is way more important than what you post on social media. Yeah. Um, so having those expectations and seeing where people are going and seeing what people are doing, um, I guess it's part of being in society, but I think also not letting that like define how you see your journey. Um, it's fine to like be like okay double tap on someone else's memories but like make sure you're not like in that place of like comparison which kind of like leads us to our next point is comparison i mean even i'm guilty of doing this and i you know i thought to a point that i was over it because i used to compare my body com like you know girls we all do it for a while i was like i've kind of gotten over that like he's helped me a lot actually um, he doesn't really care what people think, which is awesome. Um, to an extent, I mean, everyone cares. Everyone cares. <laughs> but I think like specifically on social media, I used to be really obsessed like with how my body would look. I haven't recently really had that problem just because I've started to see that this isn't always real and um, blah, blah, blah. But what I have seen is I'm still comparing even though I don't know I'm comparing. Does this make sense? I still have underlying like things of where I compare so it might not be the perfect body but then it's still like the kind of life they're living um, and that just leads to distraction it honestly does like it just doesn't put you in a good mental space and yeah. um, when you compare yourself to like how others are living their lives yeah it's just not good yeah I've also seen it like it, it goes beyond this like even in relationships like it's so easy for one couple to like see how another guy sort of treats his girlfriend or the fact that a guy is taking a girl on romantic dates and they're posting that on social media and then you look at your own relationship and you're like oh my word shouldn't he be doing this for me yeah. um shouldn't we be going out every single time but you take away from the circumstances that you guys are actually in like your boyfriend or girlfriend might not have the same job or the same sort of personality and lead to like toxicity within a relationship i think these unmet expectations literally just cause havoc in a relationship as well it's happened in our relationship well when where i've expected her to um look a certain way or to act a certain way Same. um and it's just like you realize it and you're just like why am i even expecting this like can I not ex just accept her for who she is? Mm. Um, you know. Yeah, you can't put those expectations on someone else, nor can you put them on yourself. Yeah. Because, like, God has ordained like a life for you that might not look like anyone else's, and just because you're seeing things on social media doesn't mean that oh, now my life must look like that. Like, what God has for you, He has for you, and maybe nobody else has something like that. Mm. And then you're walking out of that just because other people are doing it. The last thing that we wanted to talk about was um, the fact that it like skews where you should be getting your approval from. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure again we've all experienced this. We post pictures just to get likes and likes and likes and likes and likes. Social media will make you feel like you're accepted for an hour or two where people are spamming your page with likes. Mm. And it's so unrealistic because it's it's temporary it's so temporary. it's not it isn't permanent joy um mm. and i mean if you have an unhealthy relationship with social media um, then you'll keep on living on these temporary highs and people always say it's almost like drugs where you take a bit of it and you feel good for a little bit and then like you're back to where you are you're back to reality and you're like oh like i might not actually have friends the people liking my photos are not mm -hmm. in my reality sure. right now. I think also looking at where you find your fulfillment, basically what you've been saying, but like, just like, where do you find your fulfillment? I think that's like a question like you need to ask yourself. Like, are you finding it like from, you know, getting ahead in life? Are you finding it from like getting likes on Instagram? I think the most important thing is like to ask yourself that question. If it's an unhealthy answer, now that you've acknowledged it, you can rectify the problem. Yeah. And, and that goes for me too. I think it goes for all of us, like wherever we are. Yeah. I mean, as Christians, like at the end of the day, your fulfillment should be found in 
living your life, a life of purpose and a life that pleases God. All these other things are temporary, they're fleeting, they, they don't last forever. So we've spoken about all the sort of cons of social media and how toxic it can be. We're not experts, we're not psychologists or anything, we're really not. So you don't have to take our advice, I guess, but something that we sort of realized that helped us is just to to like slow down and realize that you can take life at your own pace. If you find yourself like in a place where social media is being toxic for you and is a catalyst to your own destruction in your mind and your heart and your soul, then there are so many options like taking a break from social media. They often say like if you can't live without something, then you're actually addicted to it. Just test yourself, like see if you can actually live without it. Mm -hmm. For a little bit of time so just remember that you get to choose the content that you consume which i think is so important you literally can unfollow people that make you feel bad about yourself you can unfollow people that make you have those expectations that are unrealistic yeah um i always say like we've had conversations where he's been like but why don't you follow these people i'm like it's not content i want to see choose carefully what you consume yeah things that can uplift you um things that like, don't set unrealistic expectations for you yeah. um, i think at the end of the day we are human we will end up comparing ourselves to people yeah it's kind of natural <laughs> yeah at some point we just have to manage and sort of mitigate how we let it affect us um, so many people are depressed have mental health issues that have been fueled by social media we just thought it would be an important um, topic to sort of speak about yeah and to also like just show that like not only you are affected i feel sometimes we feel like we are in isolation when we feel these things but like no like you see me on social media you see him on social media we got our own stuff that we're dealing with i think people put up a facade so just like know that you're not alone in our yeah. actual reality if only everybody could take off those goggles of yeah. like expectation and just see everyone for who they are and for um like where they're at in life the last thing we want to do on this channel is promote a facade or an image of us being perfect um we want you guys to feel like you sort of know us and know what we struggle with as well um and that you're not alone so guys just to end off the video um just remember to live life at your own pace stay in your own lane and Remember that God has given you very unique gifts and talents that no one else has. Um, so do you and be you. <laughs> uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, very deep. We'll probably be back with challenges from the next video again. Um, but yeah, um, let us know what you guys think about the video. Um, any other thoughts that you guys would like to share. Don't be scared to use the comment section. Um, you guys do comment a lot, but... You guys can go wild there. Let us know what you guys think about this whole social media chat. Like, what do you do um, to take time out to evaluate where you at? Let mm. us know and share with everyone else, like, what are your tips? Yeah. <laughs> Remember to leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. That always helps. And subscribe um, to become part of the family. Yes. Yeah. We love having you as part of our family. We love that our little family is growing. We love each and every one of you. Thank you so much. And we will see you guys soon in our next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>